Yakuso Kumite number seven. Yoi. Itch. Ni. Sun. Yes! In my personal experience, I have been told that there is no grabbing in karate. In Yakuso Kumite number seven, it clearly is defined by the first move established by the attacker. Okay, here we are at our final Yakuso Kumite, Yakuso Kumite number seven. Um, again, up to this point, I hope you are grasping different concepts and uh, ideas that you could uh, add to your, your uh, curriculum or your techniques that you're trying to develop in the dojo. Uh, Yakuso Kumite number seven, again, as I clearly stated before, the unique thing about this is the initial grab. Uh, a lot of uh, karate people say that there's no grabbing in, in karate, and you can see by this tape, um, it's obvious that in a competition, uh, kicking, punching, grabbing, choking, all acts of physical violence do take place. So from here, uh, Grandmaster Nagamini clearly defines that the initial grab uh, comes in from the attacker. From this position here, as my, um, and we'll turn this to the camera this way so you get a clear view, as the initial attack comes in, I drop the left hand down and I kind of punch with the right hand to the chin level. But looking at this technique from here, um, in a street situation, somebody may just clearly grab you to establish control and look to hit. All right? And I tell this to the children all the time, how does somebody grab a hold of you? It's because, um, like in the previous Yakuso Kumite, the development of awareness. So if I know I'm in a confrontation, I want to create a safe distance where it makes it difficult for my opponent to grab. So let's look at this technique. We clearly have inside position, all right? But from this position here, I can still shift off outside and demonstrate some kicking ability or punching ability or takedown ability from the outside. Okay, what I'm going to do in this technique is I'm going to actually demonstrate where the grab is coming in and I slip to the outside position of my opponent. I am clearly looking to do that in order to strengthen my position. Okay, what you want to do with these kumites is actually, um, again, we're just showing a couple of different variations and angles. But again, try to play around with them and put yourself in a position that would be uh, unlike a dojo situation where it's a comfortable environment. Here we have tatami mats. Some, some dojos have a wooden deck. The, seat, the surface is nice and even. Uh, once we step outside the doors, it becomes a different environment. Are we on grass? Are we stepping off a curb? Uh, are we walking between two cars? So environment plays a real big part of the kumites. In the kumites, if um, we're, we're looking to structure the technique so we have, just like in kata, we have balance, we have separation, we have rotation with the hip. Uh, our techniques are focused on a specific area. Uh, everything kind of looks pretty in the dojo, but once outside in the real street confrontation, things become ugly. So if you're doing a throwing technique or a displacement or balance technique and you, you become off balance, um, don't become frustrated with that because that's all part of the, the technique and the understanding of it. Okay, we're going to look at this technique where, where, you know, I'm not facing my opponent. I'm not looking at my opponent. And this is, this could revert back to Yakuso Kumite number four where my my back is to my opponent. So again, in a realistic situation, I may be looking off in this direction when my opponent comes in, and now I have to shift to the outside. Now I gotta see my angle of attack, what, what I can make contact with. So I, I have the punch in here, I have the lead leg kick, I could have a push and just exit. Turn my opponent around this way. Now we show 
uh, the arm bar and striking with the elbow. And again, in the dojo, you could play around with this. From here, I could shoot over, go into a figure four. All right, I could reverse this, all right, into a takedown. So again, there's many different movements. Thank you, Sensei Kappa. There's de many different movements that you could uh, practice and uh, pick a partner and see where your positioning is. Uh, going back to the first Yakuso Kumite, again, distance is the most critical um, of all the principles because w without it, we can't escape or we can't counter. So when that initial first punch comes in, if I'm all the way out here, I may not want to enter. I may want to stay out in this position. But if I drop back and I'm inside position, now I have to counter with something. I have to follow up. So this is very important when you're analyzing your kumites, uh, your katas, your bunkais, whatever area in the dojo that you're studying. Um, start slow, progressively build up so your confidence level uh, is able to deal with the, the certain amount of pressures from different types of people with maybe greater speed, more strength, and this will all add to your arsenal of uh, martial art techniques. Okay, in Yakuso Kumite, again, we establish the Kumite with the grab, the initial grab. But let's look at how many different ways somebody could grab you. Somebody could be pulling me off from the side from here, wanting to throw a punch from this position here. Somebody could grab with two hands. Again, I tell people all the time, if somebody's grabbing with two hands, you still have two hands that are free that could strike. You could headbutt, right? You have the knee. Um, you want to look to reestablish control. Same side wrist grabs, right, from here. So we have, uh, think about throwing an elbow technique from a wrist grab. So again, how do we get into this position? Maybe we're in some type of confrontation where my opponent's pushing my wrist down, and then from here I just use a cut with an elbow to break. Or from this position here, I turn the elbow in towards 12 o'clock. All right, so you have to look at all your techniques and, and try to see them for what the movement is and how you could apply it against the physical act of violence uh, being or directed towards you.